What's going on? This is Ashley. That's Sarah. Woo! We haven't been doing this for a while. We took about like three months off, so we were happy to be back. We're trying to get back into it, so we're gonna be a little jaw. It's a little stiff, this one. Like really stiff. It's like... Oh. <laughs> it's not gonna be very informative, mostly because we're not very excited about the film, and then also we're getting back into it. And we'll tell you why, one of the main reasons it took us forever is because Hamlet, we hit hard. We hit Hamlet hard. But it should be short and sweet because we don't have much to say about Hamlet. About how much I don't want to ever watch it again. Jeez. It came out in 1948 and it was the 21st winner of the Best Picture Oscar. Lawrence Olivier was in the movie and he directed the movie. The basic summary is that brother kills the king. Um, the son who is supposed to, he doesn't get to take the throne because his uncle takes the throne because he marries the widow. Um, man, it is messy. It is messy along, so I don't want to ramble. It's messed up, so he's real dramatic. He sees his dad's ghost. Dad says, something, something was up. Something happened. So he starts looking into it, and then he's conflicted. Hamlet's super conflicted, and I get that he's conflicted. He doesn't want to kill his uncle. Um... So he goes about, he goes about trying to trick him into dying, like all these things, and then he ends up killing some innocent standby, standbyers? Uh, bystanders? Bystanders. There you go. <laughs> the innocent bystanders. It's a tragedy. It's a tragedy, and that's what Shakespeare was great at. The story is great, just the acting, it's like black and white soap opera, but with Shakespeare language and but like the wardrobe and stuff was really like it was great but it was black and white it's like why why did you do black and white we have color then i think it could have been i don't know more more intense to see it was al also compared to lion king by a few friends of mine and i cannot disagree more besides the basic um uncle killing like his brother kind of thing but other than that there's, it's not Lion King I think maybe just your teachers were trying to help you compare and like pay attention because who doesn't love Lion King Everybody this is <laughs> who doesn't love Simba but Florence Olivier is no Simba for me no. so I get why it won uh, I get why somebody of that time would have because it was super um, like lots of twists and a lot of like internal struggle and conflict so I totally get why it won. I don't want to watch it again. Mm -mm. This movie like, I was. Just, I don't want to hate on the movie because I just like I know that it's a classic, but I don't have to like it. I don't have to. Yeah. So uh, rating. This is this is the, the rating's tough for me because I didn't like it, but I understand like how incredible of a storyline it is. Um, I'm gonna give it a um, a four. Just get <laughs> yeah four O's. That's what I'm going with. I don't know what you want to rate it. Um, well... Wait, is this a 5 or a 10? It's out of 5. Oh, God, no. No, I take that back. So this is how long it's been. It's out of 5 O's. 5 O's, I give it a year 2. That's why I was like, whoa, what do you mean? <laughs> you really enjoyed it a lot more than you are letting on right now. You're like, you are very conflicted about this film. 2. I give it a 2. Because I have no desire to watch again, but I understand like how great the storyline is. I'm giving it a one because it, the only thing it did for me is put me to sleep on numerous occasions. Yeah, it took me like three times to get through this film. Yeah, it, it was like, okay, I started it and I fell asleep. Then I started it and I fell asleep. So it took me at least four or five times of starting it at different spots and getting a nap in to finish it really but anyways so yeah i'm gonna give it one william shakespeare because <laughs> boom i i respect a lot of shakespeare this is not one of my favorite like i like, like i get it, it's a great story. like i just didn't i like some shakespeare stuff plays well, movies then, like stuff but this one i feel like we have too much to wrap up uh i i personally would just I'm just excited to get to get rolling again. We still have 60 films. I don't know if we're gonna fall into another chunk of time that we stop filming, but 60 films ahead of us, and I look forward to it. Yeah, I hope I hope we don't fall off as far as we did this time because we took a big chunk of time off. 
Um, yeah, it was it was a good amount of time. We might have to do some double features. Yeah, so we just did a lot of traveling. Uh, but there's so much that we did in like three months. Uh, family, friends, a lot of birthdays, summertime, just in general, travel. So it's like, you don't care about all that. <laughs> it was obviously good enough not to get to film. Yeah. So that's it for this week, guys. Easy peasy. Hamlet. We're on a roll. Let's get it started. Yep. Thanks for watching. Alright guys. Have a good one. This is Ashley. That's Sarah. Bye. Later. <laughs>